It's a nightmare for any parent when their child becomes injured, but teaching kids about risky situations can help them stay safe when you're not around. And joining me now is Bridget Clementi with Children's Hospital of Wisconsin to talk about their partnership with the Coles Cares Grow Safe and Healthy program. This is near and dear to my heart, this subject. I had recently my daughter go luging on her skateboard on her stomach. The skateboard <laughs> stopped, she flew off, split her chin open on M Mother's Day. Oh, and I was thinking, nice Bridget, way to spend you know, time in the emergency room. Happy Mother's right? Day. And I was thinking, you know, I can handle this, I can handle this. And inside I was thinking, I cannot handle this. There's too much blood. So there's a lot here that we totally understand as moms, right? So to put you on the spot a little bit, please tell me she had her helmet on. She had a helmet on. She had Good. a helmet on, but what she needed was like a hockey mask. <laughs> she needed like a bubble. I want to put them all in a bubble. Oh, we really yeah. wish we could put them all in bubbles. But yeah. you know, the reality is a lot of a lot of injuries that happen are preventable, and that's what this entire program is about. So Coles and Children's have been working together for a lot of years to look at how we can build health and safety into the everyday lives of families in our community. And in that situation, you know, kids are curious and they do try things in different ways that they're not intended to no, be used. No, not on your stomach. No, but yeah. the really good news is that she had a helmet on her head mm -hmm. and her head was protected. And yeah. so there's really some simple safety tips that are incorporated into this program. And it's a new way of delivering um, messaging. So it's interactive, it's online, it has some mobile components, and um, it's a lot of fun. We introduced a new character in this program. His name is Spriggy. Uh -huh. It's a little blue character, and he has the opportunity to stay safe. And the whole goal of the game is for kids and families to play together and to really ensure that Spriggy is staying safe. And there's questions along the way, and it's really fun. You and your kids would love it. So, uh, so one of the things we talked about was that um, this this type of injury is the leading cause of death to kids under the age of 14. Absolutely. So they're absolutely. quite prone to these things, whether it's something involving a motor vehicle mm -hmm. or a mm -hmm. fall, as I discussed. My kids were actually run over by a truck by someone who was backing up while they were on a sled. Oh my goodness. Yeah, and I was there. So, so, and so I we should have uh, had you <laughs> help develop some of this program, clearly. So I want to talk to you about that. Like, do you, do you, do you, you're going to be going out into the community as you have before, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. And what, what is it you are trying to get the kids on board too? Right, there's a couple of different facets of the program. So first there's the website and the game and the mobile unit and or the mobile um, components and application and all of that. And then there's that mobile piece that you talk about. So we're going to be at upcoming community events, fairs, festivals, places where families gather and really introducing this program to them and then they can take that information with them right there on their mobile device at home on their computer whatever that might look like and then they can go a little deeper into the information you know sometimes this is particularly gauged to school age children all the way through age 14 and 15 and sometimes once those kids hit school we kind of let our guard down a little bit and especially true during the summer you know and it's good the kids need to become more independent and, and that growth and development needs to happen but sometimes we forget about some of those really important messages of what can be prevented. So it's a good reminder for families of what are the tips that I can that I can do to prevent falls and poisons. Can and you give burns. me one? Like my do my nine year old Jillian says, I am not a baby anymore and I want to ride my bike down the street alone. And I'm just like, I don't know what to do about it. I want to say no. You're that not is going hard, anywhere. That is a very, <laughs> very hard spot. So personally I'm in the same position. So yes. I have a nine year old too and you know ensuring that she knows the rules of the road and mm -hmm. she stays on the sidewalk if sidewalks are available to you and ensuring that she's ready to cross that street and what that looks like and how you can be a health and advocate for that. And obviously ensuring she has her helmet on. That is the most important thing that any time that a child's on wheels, skateboard, mm -hmm. rollerblades, scooters, they need to have that helmet on. Even if head. your friends don't have one on, you have one on. And, right? and you know, and I ask parents to consider the same thing. We really have to be those role models. And so these messages are applicable for parents and for their, their kids. Because if you're on a bike ride and you don't have your helmet on, it's a pretty strong message that you're send, sending to your, to your kids. So we as parents need to think about our behaviors. Are you crossing at the corners? Are you, you know, are you absolutely. reminding Absolutely, no your... texting behind the wheel. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> you know? And be an advocate for your neighbors as well. I mm -hmm. embarrassingly call out a lot of neighbor um, friends that may or may not have their helmets on. Really? And, and I help to adjust their helmets. And I think, you know, those of us that make this safety a priority can be advocates for our community as a whole. And that's really what Coles and Children's are trying to do is be an advocate for our community and sure families are safe. I totally want you in my neighborhood, Bridget, <laughs> just to, uh, to visit help once in a all while. of us. Exactly. Yeah, so you'll be at the fairs and festivals in the community, and we have a listing of those for you as well. And yeah, and take a look at the website, Coles, uh, Coles Grow Safe and Health, or ColesSafeAndHealthy.com, excuse me. It's a long one. And um, make sure that you download the app. It's a lot of fun, and, and play Spriggy and check out what uh, what adventures he goes on. So it's good for the kids to share it's in the experience, blast. too. So yeah. nice seeing you, Bridget. Thanks.